During a site inspection on Tuesday morning, President Irfan Ali was updated by CRCCL representatives on the progress of the bridge. He was informed that the reinforcements would focus on finalizing the main spans of the structure. That's a big, that's a big work now, the main span, right? Getting that main span completed. Addressing infrastructure concerns, President Ali ordered the National Drainage and Irrigation Authority, NDIA, to fast-track approvals to prevent delays. He also received assurances that essential steel cables are Guyana bound and are expected to arrive by May to ensure the project remains on course for its August 31 completion deadline. This project is happening as any one piece of the train. Right? And your, your attitude and your work ethics is what will ensure this project completion timing. The 206 million U.S. dollars bridge will be the first of its kind in South America, designed to handle all vehicle types. Stretching 1.25 miles, it is engineered for a 100-year lifespan and will significantly enhance connectivity between regions 3 and 4. Beyond ease in travel, the bridge is expected to stimulate economic growth by improving access for businesses and commuters. One of the most significant benefits will be the reduction of traffic congestion along the east bank of Demerara, making travel more efficient for thousands of daily commuters. If you go to the China roads, the China goes long. See? Our gallery roads off of the bridge. Yeah. Mm. You see how all of that down? You see? Yeah. They're going to connect to the main roads. <laughs> that is why we build that highway, the Hartsbush Highway, that's going all the way to Ogre. Mm. So you have four ways in which you can connect all the way uh, uh, to Ogre and the same thing to go to Bosnia. The new bridge will connect Nandi Park on the east bank of Demerara to La Grange on the west bank of Demerara. It's a four-lane high-span cable state design with 23.6 meter wide driving surface. Additionally, a dedicated bicycle lane will be included along with a 50 meter fixed high span to eliminate future disruptions to vehicular traffic. Tiana co-reporting for the AHGP Nightly News.